We're going to be opening the Spark of Rebellion two-player starter set. Well, Bethany's going to be opening it because mm -hmm. maybe you already know what's in there, but I don't think Bethany does. I do not. But Even though I mean, Invader. it says on the box, but yeah, Shh. instead of reading it, you're going to open it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to uh, have Bethany open it and see what she thinks and what we think and what everyone thinks. Okay. She's going to shake it open. <laughs> I'm doing a mystery. You know how like <laughs> underneath the Christmas tree, it's like, what is it? The only thing it doesn't. You're like, yeah, there's probably cards in here. It's not as well, surefire. You're going to have to do that yeah. with our remaining. Don't. You haven't earned that yet. we got to get through that, and then we can start opening these. So uh, I can't even touch it? You're not allowed to touch it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rip it open. Let's see what's in there, and then we can open some boosters. <laughs> I'm doing the unboxing. You can't tell me what to do. I'm the director. <laughs> Does it have to stay pristine, this box? Uh, no. Okay, good, because I already ruined it. Okay, we have... Ooh. Ooh, I already know what's in it. Me, me, me. We have... I actually did not know that there was a cool uh, poster. It's a poster, but it's also... <sighs> like a learn-to-play Yeah. Uh, it has thing. a setup, round structure, references, and like a thing you can put stuff in. That's actually very nice for people learning to play. Yeah. And then, uh, same, same on the back, but... Would you look at that? That's neat. Look at... Oh, Joe, I already know what's in here. Well, <laughs> I did not actually memorize the back of the box. All I have to do is read it, and I know exactly what's in here. Ooh! Tokens! And the rule book? The quick start rules. A little baby rule book. Are you making all this into a website? Once the full rules, rules reference guide comes out, you can be sure to find Star Wars uh, unlimitedquickguide.com to go along with Shatterpoint Quick Guide and Legion Quick Guide. There will be an unlimited quick guide as soon as I have the full rules reference. So sometime in the future, check out unlimitedquickguide.com for a quick rules reference that doesn't require you to download a PDF. They're very thin. They probably knew... People aren't going to care about them very much, but yeah. technically needed some. They're not the real token. Oh, yeah. These, these are, are super thin. These, If these came in like a board game, I would judge the board game company. But everyone's gonna I feel like they're thin. all going <laughs> to... I mean, yeah, because we do have the Game Genic official token. So, I mean, even if you're not going to go and buy the extra, like, fancy acrylic tokens, you're probably going to use other means of tracking your damage and stuff so they probably i'm assuming they understood uh the you so need thin. them but they're not really everyone's gonna replace them it's also encouraging you to replace it faster <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay we have boxes do you put your decks in these you sure you could don't have a fancy one like that uh-huh yep like little deck boxes wow you fold them Oh no. Presumably they fit sleeved decks. Okay. Yeah, because this is thinner than this. Yeah. So. Okay, we got two. Anything else in here? Nope. Thank you. Okay. All right, we got nice Ooh. paper, not plastic shrink on those things, which is nice. Yeah. These look familiar. Uh-huh. Okay, we got experience and shield, double-sided, okay. Yeah, the pre-made starter decks. Spot the new ones? Yeah, see if what you remember being different from the demo decks. I don't recognize him. Correct, he's not in the demo decks. Okay. Admiral Mahdi was there. Was so there will be Admiral three cop. There, there's going to be three copies of every card because that's the maximum amount you can put into a constructed deck. So they're giving you enough cards to put these in any deck you want. I don't remember if he's in there. At least the um, the starter only cards you get three of. General Veers, is he in there? Uh, I don't think he was in the demo decks no. Parkin. Is that 
he... I don't remember if he was... Nope. Nope, okay. I don't think an AT-80 nope. was. Emperor Palpatine! He's new. Yeah, because you can see the rarity on the bottom of the cards. Um, so and rare. Then he's rare. Some of them, the ones that are only in the starter deck will have an yeah, S. Has an oh. Okay, so this one's R. Yeah, if you see an S on there, that means they're only in the starter deck. Like this one. S for special. Vader's lightsaber. So if you just try to go with it and not do... Lee surprised me. Cause I didn't see Hera and Sabine. Okay, stupid open fire. Okay. I hate going against open fire. Look at maximum Ooh. firepower. People are... Uh... Yes, damage equal to its power. Another friendly power unit. Oh, that's mean. Yeah. Mean. Okay. And that's the one that they had the pretty. Yeah, the very few select people uh, in the big, big, big time channels like IGN and stuff got some playmats with that on it. It's like a wax paper. It's almost like parchment paper. Okay, look. Okay, our twos. Okay. Is the X-wing a starter card? Common. No, it's common. Okay, so some you get three of even if they're the not. Starter. A... Oh, Pathfinder. These buddies. Oh my gosh, I'm making a video here. Could you two be quiet? We're busy. Could you not? Shh. <laughs> quiet on set. Ta-da. That one's newish. No, that was in no? the demo deck. Oh, maybe I resourced it. Probably. Because I got in the early stages. That one's not new. General Dodonna. I don't think I saw him, right? No, he was not in the demo deck. You were. Chewbacca was. Obi-Wan! Ooh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Han Solo. I like this art of him better than the I, other one. I agree. I'm not a big fan of the leader art. Most of the art in this game, like 90% of the art in this game, I'm like, this is great. And then there's just a couple that make me go, oh, I don't know about that. But that one's good. Ooh, that's kind of fun. While attacking, this unit com deals combat damage before the defender. If the defender is defeated, it deals no combat yeah, damage. Yeah, that's super good. That's super good. Resilient. Hmm, oh, is that like an added thingy? Yeah, that's an upgrade. You attach it to a dude. Much Bye. like Luke's lightsaber, you attach it to a dude. Hmm. And there were no upgrades besides shields and experience in the base game. Yeah. Shield or in the deck. demo game, I should say. That's pretty nice. I love shoot first. I love all of the yellow events. even better for the ATST. Yes. Vanquish is <laughs> dirty. Okay. Those are pretty nice. Yeah, so that is the uh, starter deck. We do have, these are sold separately, um, the Luke Invader sleeves. So I'm going to sleeve these decks with those sleeves and just leave them together. And get another a second starter down the line that I can use for breaking up to build constructed decks and leave these together for like teaching people, I think. Sounds good. I like everything. These are a little sad for tokens because you know I love my tokens. They're I like punching them. They're so sad. They're they're yeah, those are some flimsy tokens. It's just a good thing my husband has a bunch of tokens. Yes. It's not a problem for me and probably most <laughs> players. But if you're just getting into it. They're definitely like, you can do better 
tokens. They're like, oh, you could just go on without me. Replace me. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. People are going to be using other tokens or dice or dials or whatever. So, so just word of advice. You'll probably don't, not need yeah, tokens. Don't count on those tokens. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching this. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And, and stay tuned for a rematch. When yes. I don't have 30 cards. Yes. Ah! <sighs>